They're all Thai waiters. I have to talk. I have to talk about these guys because I was the only white guy in there. Thai waiters and Pepe was the captain, and he asked me. Uh, I guess I was considered a decent waiter. This was a big promotion. He says, "You want to come work in the wine cellar?" And I said, "Holy shit, yeah." There were there were fifty waiters they could have chosen, and I got picked. I was one lucky son of a gun. Pepe gave me in. The guys, Perry, Perry, Tom, and Danny, they bet on anything. They were gamblers, <laughs> Thai guys. They would gamble uh, anything. A cockroach going up the wall. When it's going to hit the ceiling. You know, anything. <clears throat> and uh, uh, <clears throat> taught me so much. First of all, clean the glasses. You know, the glasses had to be perfect. Then you had five. You know, everyone had five. So if you're doing 30 people, you get an idea how many glasses had to be done. I mean, I'm, we're talking about perfection here. Kevin would come in. Put the wines on the table. You saw that table set up in Windows of the World. I, I think, well, <clears throat> I have the picture. Yep. Yeah, there's a little something we can throw in there. Yep. You know. And Perry's in the picture, too. Perry's about this tall. Uh, <laughs> he named his son Jerome. And it was very funny, because all he could say is, Jerome. <laughs> Perry, why don't you give your son a name that you can pronounce? Uh... <laughs> uh Gambling? He used to say, John, you want in action? I said, sure. And it, I would give him, say, his $10. I don't know. Who are you going with? They go, no, no, no. So, so they'd come back and they'd give me 15 I know for a fact they just put it in their pocket. They didn't go with my... They were doing hundreds of dollars. So if I threw in a 20 it would be like, you lost. I'm sure it was in their pocket. <laughs> um, and then I told them, well, when baseball season comes, so, you know, I'll know a lot more. And they started losing money. They cut me off. Uh -huh. They just said, "You are, you know, you're dead to us, John." You know? <laughs> but another story about Danny, Danny Lau. Again, all Thai. They know in in Windows on the World, it was Thai, not Chinese, not Japanese, Thai. Danny uh, should come come to my locker. I went to his locker. He opened it up, and he has a little case. He opens it up, and it's a gun. And it's a gun. And, you know, he has a license for it and all this. And he should show me. For us, he puts it in his locker. I went upstairs. I went downstairs. And the police are in the, uh, the locker room. They found a bullet on the floor. And I ran up to Danny. I said, Danny, cops are here. Cause they found a bullet on the floor. He went straight down. He said, that's mine. I have a license for this. It's, lo it's locked. And nothing happened. But just to give you an idea of what kind of guys we're talking about here, Danny Lau, and uh, showing me his gun, because of, because of me, he dropped the bullet on the floor. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I haven't thought of that story for, I don't know, 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> and here it comes. And here it comes. <laughs>